The Honeywell MyGDC iPad app allows you to create a flight plan from the comfort of your home or office and wirelessly upload it to the aircraft. To use the MyGDC app, you'll need a Honeywell GDC account. Contact the GDC to set up an account if necessary. In this video, we'll discuss how to create a flight plan using the app and how to load the flight plan onto a Pilatus PC-12NG using the wireless connected flight deck. Log on to the MyGDC app with your GDC user ID and password. If an aircraft profile has not been previously set up, you will need to set up the profile at mygdc.com. This only needs to be done once and provides the app with the performance information for the aircraft. This information is needed to make proper flight planning calculations. Once the aircraft profile is set up, you are ready to create a flight plan. Select Create Flight Plan on the dashboard. This displays the various fields that need to be entered to build the flight plan. Select the aircraft field and choose your aircraft. Next, select the departure field which opens an airport search box. An airport can be searched for using the ICAO identifier or the airport name. When you begin typing the ICAO identifier, a list will populate. Select the appropriate airport. The airport can also be found by entering the city name. Next, select the destination field and enter the destination airport. Once the departure and destination airports are selected, an alternate airport can be entered if necessary. However, this is not required to create the flight plan. If you are unfamiliar with the area around the destination, you can search for a suitable alternate airport by distance and runway length. Either field can be changed depending on your operational requirements. When the TAF toggle switch is on, only airports with TAFs that meet the search criteria are displayed. The default format for the departure time is Zulu, however, local time can also be used. Regardless of the format chosen, both times are displayed on the screen. Change the departure date if necessary. No entries are required in the remaining fields in order to create a flight plan. However, if you choose to fill in any of this information, simply tap on the desired field. Enter the cruise altitude in flight level format, followed by the payload and the fuel on board. If the fuel field is left blank, the app uses the computed flight plan to estimate the amount of fuel needed for the flight. The fuel field has a switch if the aircraft has been topped off. Simply swipe Max Fuel on to populate the maximum allowable fuel for your aircraft. Enter the holding and reserve fuel as well as any additional fuel if necessary. For the route of flight, there are several options to choose from. These numbers indicate the number of options available for each category. The frequently cleared and recently cleared options display the routes which have previously been issued by ATC. To view a specific routing on the map, simply check the box next to the route. Several routes can be displayed simultaneously and are color-coded. To display routes on the map from a different category, 
return to the main route page and select from any of the other options. The Optimized Route option displays the route that results in the shortest flight time based on wind and temperature. This route is added to the map for comparison with the previously selected routes. Various weather overlay features can be selected for display. This is helpful when determining the route of flight. Return to the main route page and select Compare to display all of the route options and select the one you'd like to file. Once you've determined which route you would like to file, touch Select. The selected route will be displayed in the route window. It is also possible to manually enter your own route if your desired route isn't found under one of the other options. Select the departure procedure using the SID option. Next, enter VORs, waypoints, and airways as applicable. A space should be included between each entry. Enter an arrival if one is to be flown, and then select Validate Route. A dialog box will let you know that the route you have entered is valid. Select the ETP ETOPS button to add equal time point information to the flight plan any time there is a significant distance between usable airports. Up to three different scenarios can be entered on the ETP page. To create an equal time point, enter the two divert airports along the route of flight for each scenario. The ETP information is shown on the final flight plan page after all of the required information has been entered and computed. Push the Cruise Mode button to view your default Cruise Mode options. These can also be changed in the aircraft profile if desired. The cruise mode for each line can be calculated as well as an optional flight level. Multiple cruise modes can be calculated for comparison. Select Add Cruise Mode to include additional options. Step climbs and step descents, or a combination of both, can be included by selecting the Add Step Levels button. In the window, enter the waypoints and altitudes, then select Done. Once you are done comparing the various cruise profiles, select the desired cruise mode and push Compute. After the flight plan has been created, additional options are displayed on the right side of the page for comprehensive planning. Select the File button to file the flight plan. Review the details of the trip in the File Flight Plan window. The PIC's name and souls on board must be entered in order to file the flight plan. Select File Flight Plan after all of the information has been entered and verified. An IKO flight plan form is displayed once the flight plan has been filed. In addition to creating and filing a flight plan with Honeywell's MyGDC app, you can also calculate aircraft performance, calculate weight and balance, receive your pre-departure clearance, and much more. For more information on these additional services, please contact the Global Data Center. Once the flight plan is created, it's ready to be uploaded to the aircraft. Connect the iPad to the aircraft Wi-Fi and enter the password. Open the MyGDC app, 
tap on the Flight Plans tab and select the desired flight plan from the list. Tap on Upload to upload the flight plan to the aircraft. Leave the iPad undisturbed during the upload. Once the upload is complete, cycle power to the aircraft. When the aircraft is powered back up, go to the Pre-Flight tab on the MFD and select Flash from the Flight Plan Source drop-down menu. The uploaded flight plan will be shown in the Flight Plan List window. Select the flight plan and insert it. You'll be given the opportunity to load the wind and temperature data from the flight plan. Once the flight plan is loaded, review the waypoints. The SIDs and STARS used during a flight will change based on the runways in use and route and destination weather, traffic, etc. Therefore, SIDs and STARS that were entered into the flight plan using the MyGDC app are not uploaded to the aircraft and will need to be manually entered into the flight plan at the appropriate time. Although some of the lateral waypoints of SIDs and STARS might be loaded into the flight plan waypoint list during the upload, this does not indicate that the entire procedure, including altitude and speed restrictions, were completely loaded. Therefore, any SIDS and STARS will need to be manually entered after the flight plan has been uploaded to the aircraft. As always, all waypoints, obstacle departure procedures, SIDS, STARS, and approach procedures need to be verified against the appropriate charts for accuracy. This has been a brief overview of creating and loading a flight plan using the MyGDC app for the Pilatus PC-12NG equipped with the wireless connected flight deck. For questions, contact the Honeywell Global Data Center.